what's going on everybody back with another one today we are going to go over ground floor a lot of you should know what ground floor entails right it's been around for a while it's a lot different from the other ones when i say other ones i mean the other platforms that i usually cover and by the way you guys know that most of my videos are unscripted i just give you the real i just talk i figure i want to make it as real as possible i want to show you my accounts and i want to show you that i'm investing as much or as little as i can afford i think it resonates with everyday people that way so i don't script anything i just go right into it so let's get into it ground floor actually covers loans right instead of the usual that i bring you which would be crowdfunded real estate websites or apps this is a little bit different this is you investing in a loan right or you can look at it like a project um so within that loan or that project it's typically houses or construction um that is offering a certain percentage rate for a lockup period or a certain amount of time there's uh some loans that will have a shorter lockup period or a shorter amount of time and then there's others that will have a longer lockup period or a shorter amount of time right so you have to do your own due diligence either way and you have to be able to choose the ones that you feel you wouldn't mind parking your money in for either a long amount of time you know like you know 12 months eight months nine months um or a shorter amount of time right they also have notes as well but we're going to get into some of that but i will say i will say that i've gotten some significant returns from using ground floor i've been using it for a while and that's why i figured i'd cover it um and it's one of my favorite platforms um but again i'm not telling you to put anything in it all right so when you log in this is what you're gonna see all right you're gonna see up top you're gonna see invest you're gonna see borrow and you're gonna see free money it's not free money i mean you gotta you gotta work for it towards it right um that just means if you refer then you'll you'll get um fifty dollars right and i'll include my referral link this helps me out helps the channel out you know helps you out you know so that way you get fifty dollars as well too and it says it there so i'll just make sure i put the link in the description as you can see right now i have three dollars and 29 cents that's sitting in there and i believe most of it was um some of the the gains that i accrued is just sitting there uh money at work i have 350 dollars at work um so that's what's invested as of right now that money is working for me to earn some more uh gains or capital whatever you want to call it um so my total will be 353 dollars and 29 cents all right and then uh, lifetime earnings, principal invested $550, interest earned $33.29 for an annualized return of 8.2%. And then you can see the investment activity here. If you go there, you can see that. So we're gonna go there just to kind of show you. All right, so we go there you can see your investment activity so cash on hand that's what i told you i had the three dollars and 29 cents money at work which is currently working for me right now is 350 dollars. ground floor equity 439 dollars. i actually invested in ground floor itself and we'll get into that you can actually invest in the company itself um i did it their first round didn't put too much money you know me i don't put too much money in things in the beginning until that I can see that it's working for me. 
um, but they always have these uh, rounds that you can invest in the company from time to time and you can go ahead and do that if you feel that the platform is something that you know meets your standards or something that um, will grow and, and, and build over time and um, I did that and like I said I only had 10 shares for a cost basis of $150 and my current share price is $43.90 and um, I'm investing through the company it's not like it's on the you know the stock market I'm investing in a company so that's what they're telling me the share price is worth and so I gained two hundred and eighty nine dollars right and if you scroll down you just see my um, my investments by grade and um, I tend to do a little bit more of the risky stuff so I tend to do the C's the D's the E's the F's and sometimes the G's because I'm a G so I tend to do that sometimes <laughs> And um, it just tells you to break down the number of loans. I have 28 loans, right? In the C, in the grade C category. Um, so the blended contract rate is hovering around 10.9%, right? And then the D grade, I have about six loans and that's hovering around 12.9%, right? So my prefer, perf excuse me performance summary basically just tells you all the loans again how many loans uh, then it tells you the repayments so out of all the loans I invested in um, I got uh, 43 of those loans uh, were repaid to me and I invested $550 and my expected rate for those loans were 10.5% and my actual rate Remember, I told you that in the beginning, sometimes it's forecasted. You may not actually get that percentage rate. My actual rate was 8.2%. All right. And you can go ahead and download your investments if you want. Uh, if you click on this, the LRO investments, it'll break it down, right? Performing 25 loans performing invested $250 portfolio percentage 71.4% expected rate 11.4% and then it just gives you the extended if you click on it for a little bit more information or hover over it it'll say expected to repay on time extended workout agreement in place or in process and then default pending workout sometimes they default right Sometimes they do, like any other investment. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and it just goes through everything in detail. You can click on these and see the property. You can get more information, you know. Tell you that my expected, expected earnings on the $10 is eight cents. Um, and like I said, I, I fairly enjoy the platform. I don't have an issue with the platform. I like it. I like it. I like it. And therefore, I'm telling you about it. All right. So I haven't invested in any notes. I plan on it, though, but I haven't done that yet. Repayments. It just tells you that I've been repaid $550. Um, and out of that $550, uh, my net earnings was $33.29. And by the way, by the way, I have my own strategy. So it's not like I'm always putting money in the ground floor. You know what I'm saying? I'm not always doing that. You know, I'm letting the money that I earn, I reinvest it. But I don't reinvest all of it. There's a strategy. If you guys want to see that strategy, let me know in the comment section. That way... I know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Don't be afraid to subscribe, like, and contribute to the conversation. If you guys have questions, I don't work for them, but I'll try to answer it. The community will try to answer it. If anyone else has used Ground Floor and they know the answer to the question, I don't see why they won't jump into the conversation, right? But I do have a strategy that I can go over with you guys. Not really a strategy, it's just a low budget way of building my portfolio and it's seemed obviously it's working for me right obviously it's working 
you know, I really don't, on average, put much into any of these platforms, but yet they're generating for me. And in the next video, I'm going to show you something else that works for me with the fractional real estate as well. So stay tuned for that.